What do you think would encourage people to join the Canadian Armed Forces? Uh, better benefits, better pay, uh, better long-term vet care. You know, they they fall short on vets, so um, definitely pay. Maybe shorten shorten the service service years and also possibly the requirements. Well, obviously, it would be uh, incentives such as perhaps education within the forces, uh, the ability to, um, you know, once you have a certain level within the forces to either stay in and move to better positions or to uh, leave the forces with a, a perhaps a certain amount of pension that you already have, have gained. And of course, I don't know what the wages currently are for the forces. I So maybe that has to be re-looked re at and uh, decided upon whether it's good enough to attract people. Start with some education, the advertising, and I'm going to guess because I'm really ignorant in this area, their pay is probably not adequate. So it's got to be changed. First of all, I imagine that not a lot of young people know that the uh, that that's even a career option. Um, it's so hard to get the word out to young people today because there's so many platforms vying for their attention and they're just, you know, if, uh, if it's not TikTokable, they're probably not paying attention to it. So I think one is just an awareness uh, problem. Um, I, you know, there are good jobs in the forces. They're generally well paid. They have some stability. Um, interesting jobs, they're not all, you know, I mean, pretty much every career you can imagine is represented in the forces. So I really think it's a lot of visibility. Uh, they could do better job recruiting in schools. Um, yeah, and with newcomers too, I would imagine. Uh, there's, the, you know, there are lots of young people, uh, lots of young people who need work, but it's a competitive labor market. I think I think uh, there's got to be more emphasis. I think the the military has got to be working more with the grassroots, working with our governments because we have a massive young population. Uh, but is there something drawing them right now? I don't see anything that the military is doing that would entice me as a young man to say, okay, I want to go there because not only I help my country, but it's going to give me a career. As with anything, probably better pay, right? You know, people go to where the money is. Yeah. I'm not too sure what their compensation is, but I would assume that'd be uh, that'd be a draw if they got paid more. Maybe offering um, more scholarships for people who are um, to supplement their uh, their tuition to get them to encourage to join the armed forces. I'd say just benefits, you know, from being from being in the military, you know, assistance programs, pensions, things like that. Maybe more advertising about it. Yeah, I don't think so. No, I think just more advertising. And maybe getting into the classrooms in grade 12. We need to be united, not divided. Once we have that and people are proud of their country again, people will join the forces. Most of the people here now couldn't care less. They really don't care. You know, and as long as, the, you know, you've got these splinter groups that are here just for the benefit of Canada, they want our benefits, but they don't want to put anything into it. So we need to unite everybody that is living here. Well, higher pay for one, and if they have to go to war, then I definitely think we should take, take care of them when they come back, because they're fighting for all of us. They're protecting all of us. So I think we should have things set up for them as far as, you know, financial um, benefits or, um, you know, mental help if they need it to work through things. Right now, the pay is a good option, a good incentive, um, stability, uh, routine. Um, but right now, I mean, they're doing all right. Their numbers could go up though a bit if they uh, focus more on uh, accessibility. I think more public awareness. Uh, I'm aware they're already going to high schools to to show the young people what they have available, but. Uh, more money uh, and more money and just more awareness of, of the careers that are available. It's not the kind of thing that people want to join. Like back in the day, 30 years ago, when there weren't, weren't very many jobs around, most of the crowd I grew up with, they joined the Army, moved away. They had a good pension when they uh, came out of it, which I agree with. But uh, right now, like the way everything's going in the world right now, I don't think it's going to be the type that people are going to just want to join the Army. 
better working conditions, less bias, less sexist, and more pay, and they might join. Maybe address the reasons why people are either leaving or just not interested, you know? Um, I would think that compensation and, and how we deal with our, uh, our, our veterans, you know, that's a big part of it. It's probably more education on uh, what programs are available, uh, and I would think that it's, it's most likely due to uh, the education that they receive in the, in the Armed Forces. Love of country and want to work in the military, I think. You know, probably come from a military family, that helps too.